What is going on champs? I am back to bring you the brand new Royal Champion Hero and I gotta say I love her for one reason only. Bet you can't guess. It's because she's champ in her name. What? Anyways, we're about to find out exactly who is the best hero, so stay tuned. Cheers. What's going on everyone? This is Champman and I'm back to bring you a brand new hero to Clash of Clans called the Royal Champion or Royal Champ. Um, but anyways, she is amazing. What makes her so special is that she targets defenses only. No other hero does that. That's right. She targets defenses only. Um, so I would say that's her strength and her weakness. As long as you can keep her alive and behind the front and keep her safe, you should be able to plow through everything. Uh, but anyways, let's pull some stats on her. This is a maxed out Royal Champion. It goes all the way up to level 20. Um, there's her damage per second at 530. Her hit points 3,900. She regenerates. And her ability level goes all the way up to level 4. And her special ability is a shield. And what that does is that you pop it right before she dies. And she takes her shield. And she throws it. And it bounces around all the different defenses. It's almost like splash damage in a sense. So we're going to see that in battle shortly. But first we're going to do a hero versus hero battle. See exactly who is the best hero. And then we're going to do a versus maxed out Town Hall 13. Then a scatter shot. Then we're going to take her into war and see how she performs. So you guys stay tuned. All right, guys, I have the maxed out Royal Champ. We're going to be going against a level 65 King. Uh, who do you guys think that is going to be the winner of this? Um, you know, you got to think the King. I mean, who could beat the King or the Jolly King for that matter? But anyways, let's see if she beats up Santa. So we're going to drop her in the corner. And she's coming up. And if you notice, she just walks right on by. La, da, 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 da. Has anyone seen my horse? Uh, but anyways, if you, if you see... She's, uh, she's not winning this battle at all. She was really late to the battle. But then we had a pop her ability. If you notice, her shield actually went against a defensive unit. So this king wasn't even considered a defensive unit. Um, I, I don't know if that should, be, if that should change. Uh, what do you guys think? Anyways, next up we're going to do a, a, a royal champion against the queen. Let's see how she fares against that. All right, guys. Next up we have the queen versus a champ. What do you guys think is going to happen? I suspect it's going to be very similar to the king because the queen is not considered a defensive unit. So we're going to drop the champ in the corner and she's going to start moving up on the queen and she's going to ignore her. She's going to look for her horse. And first she gets hit by the queen and that's when she starts returning fire. And then she has to pop her ability to the last second and she launches her shield towards a defensive unit. Um, so next up, we're going to see the Grand Warden. We'll see how she fares against that. All right, guys. Next up, I have the Warden versus the Champ. We're going to the same kind of thing. We're going to put the Champ in the corner. But this time, I want you to pay special attention to the Grand Warden. Watch him very closely because there's going to be a target sign right on him. And the reason why is because he actually turns into a statue and becomes a defensive building in a sense. So watch very closely. And we're going to drop her in the corner. And you watch the Grand Warden, there's a target. She starts going after him, but her range is small, so she's getting in closer. And then she starts taking him down, and she easily takes him down. So next up, we're going to do a champ versus a champ and see exactly what happens. All right, guys, next up, we're going to do champ versus champ. We're going to see exactly how she fares against her clone. Can she take down her arch nemesis? So we're the same thing. We're going to drop her in the corner. And if you notice, she does not target her because she's not a defensive unit. She's going to keep going by, looking for a horse again. And she, since she didn't get first lick, she's not going to win this battle. She's going to have to pop her ability, throw her shield off to nobody, and then take her down and just keep moving along. So next up, we're going to do the champ versus the town hall, then a scatter shot, and then we're going to take her straight into battle. All right, so next up we have the champ versus the town hall one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see if she can actually survive this. Same kind of thing. We're going to drop her in the corner. And if you notice, she targets it because it's considered a defensive unit. She gets the first lick on it, and the inferno pops out, starts frying her. And this is a super close battle. Can she survive? Oh, had a pop her ability. So one, without her ability, and then you see the Gig Inferno drop, turn into a bomb, uh, but she still survived that. So yes, she can actually take down a max Town Hall 13 by herself. Next up, we're going to do two scatter shots, and then we're going to take her straight into war. 
All right, next up, we have the champ versus two scatter shots. Can she take them down? Same thing. We're going to drop her in the corner, and she targets them because they are defensive units. And she starts taking the first one down with ease, and she's still getting hit bit by the other one. And she had to use her special ability. If you look right there, there's her shield, and it actually took that unit down halfway. So it bounced off that. It's flying across the map. And it's going to hit other defensive units. Um, but let's go ahead and take her into war and see how she fares there as well. All right, guys, we're going to be taking that champ straight into battle. We're going to be creating a funnel right at 9 o'clock. So we're going to be using the siege barracks up on the top. And if you remember, the P.E.K.K.A. drops out, followed by wizards. It's, it's great for funneling. Um, so we're going to use a Yeti witch combo. I think we can probably call that a Yewi. Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment if you think we should call it that. I can see it really taking off. But anyways, let's go ahead and just play this. And we're going to follow that champ all the way through. We've got the funnel around 9 o'clock. Clearing all out. And we're going to use earthquakes to come through. And I'm going to pause it, and we're going to follow this champ all the way through. And one cool thing about her is that she actually jumps over walls, and so she just keeps targeting all the defensive units. And as long as you have a front in front of her, she is golden. She just keeps plowing through. Maybe that's why she has that little headpiece on, because she is golden. She is just amazing if she has protection. So she just keeps going along. She's just going rogue here while the Yetis and the Witches keep pushing through the middle. Um, but she's just tearing everything up. Uh, look at that. But the entire base layout is completely destroyed. And these Yetis and Witches just did damage. Um, I, wonder, I wonder if those units are just extremely powerful because um, everything was able to plow through with ease. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the hero? Do you think this yeah, we is a deadly combination? Uh, but anyway, I think that wraps it up. We're going to end up with, with a three-pack here. Um, that was really cool to be able to use these brand new units um, to be able to three-pack this uh, Town Hall 13. Uh, but anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think she is the best hero out of all of them? Um, I think she brings a lot to the table, jumping over walls, her, her special ability, the whole nine yards. Um, she could be the best of the best. Uh, let me know what you think. I think... Uh, it's between her and the queen. I think I'd still have to choose the queen, but um, what do you guys think? Leave a comment if you would. And if you guys have not yet, subscribe to my channel and use code CLASSCHAMPS. That helps support me and my staff over at ClassChamps.com. You guys take care. Cheers.